What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fats of Freddy's Sister Location. In this episode guys, we are going to continue on the game because apparently there is some more stuff to this. Because in the last episode, we managed to complete night 5. And supposedly we have got the ending, but I don't think that that's the end of it because I think that there is still more to this. And we also got our two stars as well, which is great. Now, there is one thing that I do want to check out, and there is a secret area when you do Night 5, and as you guys saw on the map, like, uh, when we checked on, like, the map, like, for the blueprints, there is a private room that we haven't checked. Yeah, right here. So, as you can see here, there's the Funtime Auditorium, and there is a private room, which we have not checked out yet, and we actually went to the scooper room. Which is where we usually went during night five. So I believe that when we went into the scooping room, we went to the left, right? Now, since the private room is on the opposite side, what if we went to the right side instead? So you know what? I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to try that out. And I don't know, like, like maybe something might happen. So... Yeah, I think that there is still more to this, so I guess they're all oh got yes, Welcome we gotta do all of this to your again. Last day on the job. So you know what? I'll probably just uh, first week. skip to this. Some... Alright guys, so we're back to this now. Get this fucking code there shit. There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. Yep. Enter the code carefully. One. Eight. 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 Four, four, one, four, one, seven. Good. Wow. The hat <laughs> should have opened. Now you that must That was kind of like a, like an easy code, I not gonna lie. You. you must follow my instructions in Funtime Auditorium. Nope. Ballora not this time. to follow you. She will nope. try to catch you. I will help you avoid her. Nope. She will not follow you inside the scooping room. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this time. She is afraid. Alright, yeah, so now, now. Instead of the left side, we're gonna go all the way to the right now. So here we go. Go forward. Booking it to the right, come on. Go, go, go. Oh! Alright, yeah. Yeah, this is it. Oh shit. It seems that you have accidentally oh. wandered into a restricted area. Due to the sensitive nature of the materials oh. that you may be exposed to here, you will not it's be actual to leave of until the now. crew arrives at 6 a.m. So hang tight. Rest assured oh, that you will be promptly sick. rescued, fired, then sent home. Thank you for being an employee. We hope that your experience oh, has not been as regrettable as ours. Okay, guys, yeah, so hold up. First things first. Yeah, look at that. So when you type 1983, then that is the uh, the uh, timeline that, that it took to uh, find it to Freddy's four in the uh, bedroom, and I just heard movement. What the fuck was that? Why didn't you trust me? Oh shit! The hell was that? Why didn't you believe me? You can see the uh, uh, Fred bear on the uh, on the uh, desk there as well, like the plush. Is that? Okay, it sounded like it was in the middle, right? At 1 a.m. Oh, shit! Fuck. Who is that? I think that that's the guy, right? Is that the mystery guy? That we saw? In the, uh, like the window, right? I think that's him. I thought you liked Did he move? No. Wait, I'm waiting for him to... 
There he goes. Okay, yeah. Okay, so when he's on his second phase, which is like that, that's when you shut it. Shit, is he gonna leave? Come on. 73%. Oh, yeah, like you guys can't see my usage and my power percent. All right, yeah, there he goes. Okay, yeah, so when you hear like metal moving, then that means that's his movement. Oh my god, he's back. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, so yeah. So you gotta wait until he moves to his second phase there. Come on. Man, he's not moving. All right, down to 58. It's kind of not good. Shit, he's not gonna move? Oh shit, he did move! We need you so that we can I didn't even hear him. Down to fifty percent. If they find us like Ooh. this, we won't be able to try again. You must help us. You must, yeah, like, you must the right. Let us inside the room. Nope. Isn't this why you came here? that shit yo that was kind of light much more quiet there she's still there yes yeah, so when he's close to the doors like that including the vent that's when he moves and that's when you, you shut it god he's not moving 33 percent don't know actually tell like where he's going Ugh. left hello shit 23 percent oh god he's actually there oh that was close middle Was that? Nope, not yet. That was it, yep. Ooh, that was a quiet one. Shit. That was it, yeah. Fuck, 
Five AM, eleven percent. Vent. Left. That was yeah. Oh my god. Middle. Oh. Yeah, he's close. Shit. Percent left. Nope. That was it. No, it wasn't. Shit. One percent. Fuck. Shit. 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 Oh no 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 no. Oh fuck. Fuck. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck! Damn it! Oh my god! That was okay. Like, that was so close. That wasn't bad, though. That wasn't bad for the first attempt. Holy shit, okay. So, I kind of get this playstyle a bit. So, you really just have to listen on where he's going. And once you see his, like, second phase on the camera, that's when you shut the doors. Or the vent. Oh, God, no. I gotta do all of this again? Oh, that's gonna suck. Wait, so every time I die, I gotta do all of this again repeatedly. Oh, that's gonna suck so much. Fuck. Really thought that we had that shit. Like, and that was long, too, because, like, usually sometimes when... Like, the power outage happens, he does his jump scare real quick. But that was, like, long, and, like, I was just waiting just waiting for it to be done but damn like that is like that is so close i feel like the reasons why we died there is because that he was just standing at the door for too long i feel like that that might have been it damn but that was close though all right guys so like i guess for now i'm just gonna try to focus throughout the rest of this because this could take a while Shit. Fuck! Oh, you see? Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. No, I, I don't care about this. <laughs> we already did this. We already got the secret ending to this already. Fuck, but that is like... That is very close. It's very close. But my god, like once it gets to like 4 a.m. to like 5 a.m., that's when he starts moving a lot. Like he starts moving crazy. So yeah, it's it's close, bro. It's fucking close as hell. All right, guys. So this is Future Matt or Edding Matt here, and uh, just want to explain to you guys uh, how to deal with Ennard in FNAF 6 location and my thoughts and gameplay on it, basically. Because during this round, I actually don't really say nothing really because I'm really just trying to focus and trying to beat this motherfucker. So um. Kind of just don't want to bore you guys you with uh, an this gameplay being all uh, silent, really, because the gameplay here is actually kind of long. I believe it took around nine minutes in total. So I figured why not just explain to you guys how to deal with Ennard for those of you that are probably new to the game. So we're dealing with Ennard, right? Usually in the first couple of seconds, I like to just kind of stay and not look at the cameras because... I mean, just looking at the cameras takes power uh, away. And uh, basically, dealing with him, right? You have to listen. It's all about the audio cues. You just have to listen with your ears. Now, think of the gameplay as Frightbear slash Nightmare in FNAF 4. Basically, the Ready, exact huh? same thing where you have to listen in certain areas. So, with Ennard, right? He can move in three areas. The left, the middle, and the right. The left being in the left door, the middle meaning the vent, and the right, meaning the right door. Now, once you hear a movement, you're going to hear some metal rustling, and that's him. 
that's the movement that you want to hear and once you hear movement for example on the left side one time he's generally going to be in that area that doesn't mean that he's exactly going to be at the door but he's going to be on the left side now once he makes a second movement on that side he's most likely going to be near the door now if you hear it a third time that means that he's most likely going to be right at the door or he could go back. It's a 50-50 chance, but most likely he's going to be right close to the door. So with this also, you have to conserve your power a lot. I mean a lot. Meaning try not to use the cameras as much as possible besides if you hear any movements from him. I suggest you look at the cameras only if you hear the movement and only to be sure where he he's at because if you hear the movement and you don't look at the cameras sometimes he could be right at the door and he could just kill you instantly so you do want to be sure to check yep. the cameras very little not a lot very little because you want to conserve as much power as possible because this you can really go down to the wire with this one it's very close, but just try to conserve as much power as possible. And I also do want to apologize if my webcam is actually blocking uh, my battery uh, usage. I do apologize about that. But yeah, basically all I have to do is just listen. And sometimes you'll hear Circus Baby actually talking. And when she does that, it kind of can distract you on where he's moving. Because sometimes if she talks, he can actually move as she's talking and sometimes that could really mess you up if you like if, like if you hear circus baby just talking during this and like when he moves as she's like saying something like it could mess you up um but as long as you like remember which spot he's actually in then i think you should be good as long as you know like where he's at on like which side the left middle or the right we need so like right here she's like she's talking but luckily he's not really moving as she's talking right there and also another thing that i want to point out is sometimes when you hear his movement his could be very subtle like i think coming up you guys will see why that his movements can actually be very subtle so right there he was very close i, did I actually not hear did not him hear him Holy shit that was close like i checked like they just got on i time. checked so i kind of got lucky there with uh, not dying there which is very very lucky so now i'm checking to the left side so that we can look like you and i don't think he's not there yet if they find us like this yeah, not there yet, but he's on the left side. Yes, he looks. Now, he moved again, so that's the second time. So, he's at the door, but not, like, very close to it. You see? And then, like, when he you makes... Must, must when you hear that other inside. movement... Shut up. Like I said before, it could... It could, like, make a difference. So he's back again, 3 a.m. Isn't this why you can the circus baby won't shut up as usual? Again. Yeah, see, like right there. Right there. He can sometimes do that, and you have to close it really fast once he's close at the door like that. So now he's back in the middle. So now I'm just making sure to get ready to close the vent. I don't understand. That's his first phase. He's just about to get into the vent. That was it. Yeah. So just like that. You won't die. And it will, will I though, Circus Baby? Will I die this time? Who knows? So, um... Yeah, so he just moved back. And I know that he did, so I... Of course, open the vent again. That was moving to the right side now. And obviously, uh, with the FNAF games, you always gotta wear headphones for the best experience because it could actually really help you out on these certain situations in these nights for sure. So we just hit 4 a.m. some more moving onto the right side yeah see like right there yeah like i'm even like nodding my head just like saying no you're not getting me this time because 
Like, sometimes he could actually skip a phase and just be at the door immediately. And, and again, with the vent. So he moved back. I opened it again. Moving to the left. Hi. Whoever that was. <laughs> I, th I mean, I think that was uh, Elizabeth that was saying that. Um, Hello. Uh, hi, hi, yeah. I'm trying to commentate here, Elizabeth Afton. Come on now. So yeah, he moves again to the left. I shut the door because he was there. He moves back. I open it again. Now he's back again to the left side. Okay, yeah. Now one thing that I do want to mention out is that when he gets to 4 a.m. or like 5 a.m., when it gets around there, that's when he starts to move a lot. And I know if you hear a lot of movement, you're going to panic. Trust me, do not panic. All I got to do is just listen and be fast. I know it was an accident. Was it though? Anyways, more movement to the right. He's there. Goes back. See? Because he, he can't trick you. And usually once I hear the third movement on that side, I always just be sure to close the door just in case if he's actually there right on the door. Same thing. Yeah, same thing with the vents too. We'll move to the right. But yeah, but it gets crazy here. Though. It definitely gets crazy. And it's really not that bad, though. Like, once you get this down, it's really not that bad. But in terms of the custom nights, though, that is completely different to this. But yeah, but that's generally it. You just have to listen, like I said before, and you should be good. It's really not that bad once you get used to it. Yeah, and I hope that you guys found this out helpful for those that are new to the game and want to complete it. Yeah, and I'll just leave it here for the rest of the gameplay. I'll see you guys later. Shit. Fuck. Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! As the trees oh sway god. in the wind, so yes! also do emotions sway between my star lovers. You burned down my Holy house. Holy shit. You call that a house? It was like a morgue in there. I may be undead, but you're heartless. You need to see your son. The baby isn't mine. He ate the cat. <laughs> Sounds like something he got from your side of the family. Damn. What is this? I'm keeping the diamond ring. The joke's on you. I found it in a kid's meal. You bought a kid's meal? Oh, Vlad! <laughs> what? <Yeah>. What? <laughs> As the hair on the back of a cat oh stands up straight, so also does the love between Vlad and Clara stand up against <laughs> all obstacles. But oh what God, about the, the baby? What about the back child support? Stay tuned next season Damn. for those answers and more. Wow, holy shit, guys. That was fucking intense. What the hell? What the? Oh. What's up? I'm enjoying the popcorn. Oh, God. What is he doing here, though? What the fuck? Oh! Holy! Shit, guys, yo, once it got to like 5 a.m., yo, he was moving crazy. He was moving insane. Holy shit. That was like, oh my god, like, for that, you really have to conserve your power a lot. You have to conserve your power so much, and I know that. You guys couldn't really tell what my power situation was because like my webcam was like blocking the uh battery 
Uh, your usage, but... Holy shit, it, like, it doesn't matter. The power went out and we still won it, which is fucking insane. Yes! There we go. See, look, now it's blue. Because last time it was red, meaning, like, it was... I'm guessing the... The bad ending, maybe, if that's a guess? Or, or, like, was that the good ending? I don't even know. I don't even know. Holy shit. Fucking hell. That was crazy. That was insane. Holy shit. Fucking hell, that was, like... God, like... You really have to pay attention to that. And you really have to... Listen to his movement. Kind of like with the whole, like, Fredbear slash Nightmare, like, situation back in, uh, FNAF 4. You have to listen a lot. Because you can actually hear on where he's moving. To the left side, to the middle, which is the vent, and also to the right. Like, you can actually hear where the hell he's going. So now, if I go to the extras, we should be able to see this character. Oh, wait! What? The exotic butters is here. Exotic butters. <laughs> what? I got my exotic butters. Holy shit. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. <laughs> exotic, exotic, exotic butters. Oh my god. All right. But anyways, I think now we should unlock the mystery character, Ennard. So that is Ennard. Holy shit. Look at him. Oh my god. So something happened between the main character and Ennard, as we just saw during the end there. Um, so I'm pretty sure, by the way, that we're actually Michael Afton. I think so in this game as like for the main character. And I'm pretty sure something happens to him with Ennard, which we'll probably see later on during this game. Because there is still more, guys. There is still more in this game because now we've unlocked custom night and also three stars too so let's check custom night out and holy shit so here is all of the challenges here now by the way guys i'm not gonna be doing this all on easy and medium i am doing this on very hard not even hard just very hard pause on that <laughs> so First up, we have Angry Bullet, and we have some some animatronics we do recognize here, and some of them we actually don't really come across in the game. So first off, we have is Ballora. She will approach from either the west or east hall. Listen for her music to become louder, then shut the appropriate door. And then Funtime Freddy. Funtime Freddy will hide in, in either the west or east closet, then send Bon Bon to attack from the same side. When he commands Bon Bon to attack, shut the door. If he announces a surprise, shut the door the opposite. Oh, shit. Okay. And Yendo. This motherfucker, dude. I do not like Yendo at all. Especially on Golden Freddy mode. Because he could be a pain in the ass. This mysterious endoskeleton will appear at random when closing your monitor. If he is in your office, quickly open your monitor again to make him disappear. So, it doesn't sound that bad. But when you're actually playing and as soon as you see him in the office, put the camera up. And sometimes that could really fuck you up if there's so much stuff going on. Funtime Foxy will gradually emerge from his curtain, then charge into your room, check on him frequently to slow his progress. So just like FNAF 1's Foxy. Bonnet will streak through your room at a random time after you close your monitor click on her nose to deactivate her before she leaves the screen so bonnet should not be too bad uh because i just click on the nose and she's done bitty bab these fox uh will always be in the vent ahead of you when she gets too close close the vent door until she retreats and then the electro bobs will randomly appear in either the east or west closet begin draining your power Administer a controlled shock to deactivate Electro Bob. So I don't think that these guys should be too bad. Low bit will appear on three monitors in the office, followed by visual and audio distractions. Type LOL on the keypad in the office or type LOL on your keyboard to deactivate low bit. So low bit should not be too so bad either. It should be really easy to do that because all you gotta do is just type literally LOL on my keyboard. The Minoritas, these little shitters. <laughs> 
will appear out of random and begin draining your oxygen supply, eventually causing a blackout. Administer a controlled shock to deactivate them. So very similar to the Electrobobs, where they drain uh, my, my power and also... Uh, these guys do the oxygen, which makes the whole room dark, and you do not want that. And then there's a mini arena 2, where these guys just appear randomly to block my view in the office, and they can't be prevented or deactivated. So, once they're on my screen, they're there for the rest of the whole night. Which isn't so bad, but you really have to just, like, pay attention in your office a lot shit so anyways here is all the challenges real quick i'll just go over them so we have angry uh ballet so it's just literally these three uh and then we have freddy and co which is fun time freddy yendo fun time foxy and bonnet fun time frenzy dolls attack girls night Weirdos. Top shelf, which is everyone on top. And then bottom shelf is, yep, all these guys. The cupcake challenge. Which is everyone on 10, I believe, yeah. And then golden fucking Freddy mode. This mode right here was probably the hardest challenge I have ever done in any FNAF game ever. As of right now. Besides doing FNAF 2's, uh, 1020 mode, which I haven't done still, but I have completed this before, and that was one time. So I don't know if I could do it again. This might take probably the longest, maybe even longer than FNAF 3's Aggressive Nightmare mode, since that was like the very first time I did that, and that took a lot of hours. So I don't know how this is going to go, because I think the last time I actually did this, was back in 2021 i believe somewhere around there and this probably took me if i had to remember maybe over a week the first time so yeah um i guess for every episode we're gonna be doing maybe one to two challenges maybe so i guess for the next episode we'll do angry ballet and freddy and co and then so on for the for the others and then i'm saving probably golden freddy 1020 mode for a whole other episode because this is the hardest out of all of them and as you can see up here on the top right there's actually stars so when you do a challenge on for example easy and when you complete it you'll actually earn one star but when you do very hard pause again uh you actually get all the stars all four and that's what we want. So I'm going to do all these on very hard. And yeah, we'll see how things go. So holy shit, guys. I'm just so glad that that entered shit is done. <laughs> For real. Like, because that took a couple of tries. But that was insane, though. That was crazy. Like, the blackout happening. He was literally about to jump scare me. And we completed it. So that's all that matters. And now I can move on to the custom nights. Which should be very interesting to come back to. Anyways, if you guys do want to see more FNAF system location videos, make sure to subscribe. And also, leave that rating down below. It's up. It helps the channel out a lot. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to go and come back next time for some more FNAF system location. And I'll see you guys later.